Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Marta. Today is still the 5th of January and I have some rather interesting news for you today on a new device that could be heading our way. Now this device is called the Toby iX and is being developed along with Toby Technologies and Steel Series as a eye tracking hardware that will allow you to implement your eye movements into games and the hardware has actually been demoed playing such games as Amnesia the Dark Descent, Skyrim and even Starcraft and it has been shown in a demo video which of course will be linked in the description if you wish to check it out and so far it's used for things such as shortcuts to peer around but Toby also suggested that developers can even adapt the AI to respond to your gaze as well and there will even be head tracking so you could potentially greet people with nods and so forth. Now this is not some far off device that's not going to be out for like another four years or something like that. It's actually due out rather soon with a vague mid-2014 release date for consumers while developers can actually pre-order dev kits that will be shipping in March. Now the dev kits will actually normally go for $195 but until the end of January they can be reserved for €75 slash $95 using the coupon code CES. 2014 and that's all a one word. So what are the potentials for such a device? Well it could literally be anything and everything. It could be actually as a user quite point rightly pointed out and there's actually an interesting idea that didn't occur to me to be honest is that it could even be used for physically disabled people who perhaps were unable to play more complex games perhaps due to poor motor control or something like that you know just for whatever reason they were unable to enjoy more complex games or games at all for whatever reason and perhaps this could open up that world for them if they so desired you know it could be used in some ways like that it could be used as just a nice little add-on kind of in a similar way to connect or it just it's just it's actually the possibilities are endless you know my my mind kind of just thinking about all these opportunities and well it just all comes down to some creative developer coming along and saying hey I know what I can do with that I can create this awesome game da, 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 da. so it's definitely an interesting and intriguing piece of technology and I'd be curious to see what if anything will actually come about will it bring about any great change will there be games made that perhaps they wouldn't be made before will there be a possibility for those physically disabled people that I mentioned earlier to be able to use this device to play more complex games or whatever or games at all depending you know it's all just pure speculation and to be honest I really don't know what is going to be done with this device but given that it works on games such as Starcraft it does kind of make you think oh it's not just going to be used for third person or first person shooters like you think it might be it could actually have some interesting applications so I'd be curious to hear your thoughts what do you think could be used for this device because honestly I don't know the, literally it could be anything and everything it could just be a it could even just turn out to be a sort of cool gimmick, you know, for all I know, it could not be, the potential of the device could not be realised, for all I know, I'm just kind of speculating, thinking out loud, and kind of just sort of bouncing a ball against the wall, just trying to think, hey, you know, what could be done with this? So I'll be curious to see what you guys think of this tech and what could be done with it. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.